Now we'll learn the next two events. One is at selection screen and second at selection screen on value request for. So here in this example, like overall I'm explaining over only four events. So like this mirror, there are many other events out there that you can do practice. Okay, so this start of selection, end of selection, those are also called as an event, pop of page, at line selection. Okay, so now for at selection screen, what I will do was I will just add one addition select option here as ERNUM. ERNUM for EKKO ERNUM. ERNUM is it is created by and I will also add one modifier ID here as height for my reference 788 okay and what I will do I will go to text element and here select dictionary reference created by activate now take example on selection screen if you want to if you want to make one field mandatory, so what we can do, we can simply add here as obligatory. Okay, so if we add like this, so by default, this field will be mandatory on the screen and we cannot execute the report, report without entering this field. Okay, so second option here, what I will do, instead of making that as mandatory field on the screen, what I will do, I will add one more event here, like add selection screen, add selection screen only, okay, not output. So this will act as a PAI. So here what I will do, if s underscore er num low is initial. And if if user did not enter the er num, so give the message as message enter the created by a message type I want to give as error. Okay. So this event we can use to add all the validation, any kind of validation. For example, on selection screen if users entering material ID. So in this block only we can do the validation whether that uh, material code is exist or not at the database level. So that also we can do. Okay. So here what I'm doing, I'm simply checking if this is initial, then give the error message. Now if I execute, see the error message, enter the created by. Okay. So like this, we can make use of add selection screen for any type of validation, this act as a PAI that is process after input and this is PBO, process before output, means before displaying the screen, this will get triggered. So for the next one, that is add selection screen on value request for, okay, let me remove this, I will not do any hide here. So what I will do, I will first create a structure for internal table. So I will create an internal table like begin of tp underscore erNum and here as of now I am taking only one field like erNum ekko erNum that is created by end of tp underscore erNum okay and I will create an internal table for the same gt underscore erNum Type standard table of tp underscore erNum, then work area for the same type tp underscore erNum. Okay, and I want to give a F4 help using internal table. So for that, here I need one additional table. I will explain where to use this and I want that I will write a gt underscore return like dd let me search that I think dt sh 
या डिजी सर्च है ब्रिटेबल ओके एंड राइट दिस एज zero with header line if you double click here this is the interface structure for search help fine activate now what i want i want to provide a f for search help so here i will write one more event at selection is screen on value request for s underscore er num low so if you want to provide this search help to both low and high then we have to write that logic for both the events so here like perform get users i will double click here In the same program, I'm adding this event. Okay, so whenever this perform routine will get called, the very first step I will clear the internal table first, and now I will build an internal table. Now gs underscore er num er num equal to I'm adding here different user IDs. append js underscore er num to gt underscore er num and always clear the work area here here i have only single field so i don't have any issue but as a good practice always keep on clearing the work area so this is first user second user i will add as developer and third i want to add one more user as integration Okay, I'm just adding some user ID. So I have three records now in the internal table, and what I will do, there is a one function model called like f for i f underscore i n t underscore i n t is for internal table. Okay, if you don't know the complete word, just type star and press f four. So this is the function model f four. I F underscore I N T that is internal table value request. So now here the very first field what the like return field from our structure which field we want to return. So I want to return E R num. So always write in capital letter E R num. I want to return and open all the exceptions and the value tab from which table we want to display the value. So I want to display the value from my internal table, okay? And here we have one return tab. So when we click on F4 help system, will display the value from this table, and the value which will select that record will get in this return tab, okay? So that's why here earlier I declared one internal table it underscore return. So in the first record of this internal table, we'll get a value. so as i use here header with header line so what we can do return write it underscore return and the field will be like field value okay and where we want to pass the value to er num low and we'll write refresh gt underscore er num is not required is optional if you want to clear then clear okay save check and activate so what i have done here i have built a internal table with three values and those value for same displaying with value request and then i am passing that to the yarnum low value okay go back so where i declare first this at selection screen on value request for 
s underscore enum low and i will also comment that earlier logic to display the error message this i will comment temporarily i don't require as of now now here if i execute now here if i execute if i press f4 here see okay no values are coming let me check So here I will just check the function model. Here in this all structure I have to pass S. Remaining we don't require not mandatory, remaining all are optional. Okay, I have some issue with the SAP GUI currently the version which I am using. So maybe I have to upgrade that. So once actually we click on F4 help. Okay, currently system is not displaying the record. So all the internal re uh, report records we can see here like this. Currently it is blank due to some error in my GUI. System is not displaying the record, but we'll get a record like this. Like here, system is showing three entries found, but not able to display. Okay, so we can use this function model to display the internal table values. And in this way we can use like acceleration screen on value request for F4 help. So once we click on that, we'll get the values here and on double click, that required value will appear here. Okay, now see one more example here, like how to modify this screen, like to meet our requirement. For example, here I don't want to provide a range. Here my requirement is I want only single fill, only low value. Okay, so how to modify solution screen for that? Here, for that field, you have to write no intervals, okay? Now if I execute this, see, here we cannot see the two value, all we have low value. Okay, first one is this, then like that, we have multiple values. If you want to add different, then we can add one by one like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, any number of values we can add here. And second example, we also don't require this extension. We require only low value. So what we'll do? Here no intervals and no extension. Now if I execute the program, see we have only low values. There is no high and no extension arrow button. Okay, so only low value we are getting here. So like this, we can modify the selection screen based on our requirement. Now, till we are using select options, even though we don't have high value and we don't have arrow. But if you're using this concept with select options, with select options, then in, in our selection query, we have to use in operator only. Okay, but in case, if you're using parameter, then we have to use equal to sign. Okay, so as I have added new field on my screen, so I will add that also in the select query. A ER num in S underscore ER num. Okay, so like this we have done with the session on events in LV report. Here I have explained only four events, remaining events we can do as a practice. Thank you.